man. Welcome back to you live. We're here with Richie Hardcore. Hi. How are you doing, Richie? Um, I'm doing pretty good. You ran in, actually. Those on the live feed would have would have heard like 50 <laughs> seconds before. Yeah, you just heard Richie running up the stairs, and we're like, he can do it. He can do I it. I can do it. Yeah, that, all, yep. that, all that athletic training is paying off. Exactly. Um, so Richie, you uh, made it. You made it. You I made it. Day? Yeah. So I'm a bit late. Um, I'm actually oh, having nice. a really good day. Yeah. Um, I actually have had quite a bad week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I wanted to talk about that today. Like, I wanted to talk right. about like positive ways to dealing with you know hard times. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I was listening to the news the other day, and this sort of all ties in. Like, apparently in New Zealand, six to seven hundred people a year commit suicide. Which I was like, I was like, whoa, that's really heavy. That, that's quite. Like, a I lot. always knew that we had a, a really high rate, but I didn't know it was that many people. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've had quite a difficult week, you know, putting it out there personally. I've yeah. had quite a difficult emotional week and I've been talking to people about, you know, what are positive ways to deal with hard times mm -hmm. and when things are difficult, you know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. I think a lot of the time when you're having a bad week or you're having a bad time, you can uh, you, you can kind of wallow in that and get kind of deeper and deeper into it. Exactly. You know? And, the, and that's, what, that's yeah. what sort of has come across as consensus of friends I've been talking to is mm -hmm. like, um, for one of the first good things you can do is talk to people, like just simply getting it out of your head and getting another opinion on it is super helpful and super beneficial. Yep. And sometimes you might feel like you don't have anyone you can talk to, which I can understand would be really difficult. Mm -hmm. So there's heaps of um, networks out there that you can call, yep. like there's uh, Lifeline, yep. um, for there's like Rainbow Youth up on uh, K Road here in mm -hmm. Auckland um, for gay, lesbian, bi, transgender um, youth. And awesome. there's, okay. Yeah, they do great work. Um, what up, Tommy? And, um, <laughs> and there's Outline, which is again gay, lesbian, bi, transgender. Mm -hmm. um, there's a whole bunch of services available, and like if you if you feeling like really depressed and down, and you just want to get it out, you can call any of those people. It's completely anonymous. And then, I know, and it's kind of I might surprise people that oh my gosh, there's someone who actually will listen. And, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, exactly. Especially yeah. when you're young. Do you exactly. remember being? I remember oh, being a teenager. Like, and, you don't want to talk, and sometimes you don't want to talk to your parents about stuff like that because yeah. it's like they might be the cause of the problem or whatever. Yeah, exactly, you know? and and friends kind of might not understand. You don't want to, you know, make it. But, yeah, yeah, you don't want to make it difficult. Another, my personal um, favorite for dealing with hard times is exercise. Yeah. Like um, a friend asked me today, he's like, what do, you, what do you do since you don't drink and you don't do drugs? Yeah. And I was like, well, I had quite a shitty day yesterday, so I went running for 56 minutes Sports. at 9 p.m. Yeah. last night. Yeah, yeah, you know, like the last time I was on the show, I was talking about walking. Or, yeah. Running is awesome. It releases endorphins, yep. which are like a neurotransmitter in your brain. And endorphins make you happy. It's yeah, like endorphins make you happy. <laughs> totally. It's like I have all the drugs I need already inside my body. Uh, Damien says, uh, there's a comic book store next to Rainbow Youth. Hashtag best. Yes, Heroes for Sale. Heroes for Sale. I love Heroes for Sale. Uh, <laughs> I, I, live, I, live, I used to work in comic book shops. Oh, yeah. This is a complete aside. Yeah? Where but, did you work? Um, actually, when I lived in New York for a while, there was oh, a, yeah. in, um, in the, you know, just dropping it in there. Just, oh, just, whatever. Know, okay, sure. Well. But um, yeah, I used to work under, under the table at this comic book shop. Amazing people would come in, like guys dressed up with blade and the fangs and like the That's swords. And, yeah, it's America, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Well, uh, we we'll have a wee chat about um, other things, maybe other positive things. Yeah. What do you What do you do? What do you, yeah, uh, that's yeah, a good one. Yourself. Ask, ask, ask yeah. people. Yeah. What, what do, do you, you do when you're down? Do you go for a walk? Do you watch a movie? Do you talk to your do you Talk to your mum? You talk to your dad? You're like, hey, let's talk. Let's have yeah. a cup of tea. Talk it out. <laughs> um, we're going to go to a bit of David Dallas, take a picture. But after that, we'll also be putting the question to you, Richie, about uh, dream jobs. What's a dream job? Are you in a dream job? Lots of questions. Into it. Here's some David Dallas.